Fire. Fire. Hush mode activated. Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about nuisance alarms or false smoke alarm activations. It happens, right? So the other day, um, I'm at work, my daughter calls me and tells me that the smoke alarms in our house were going off. So the first thing I ask is, were you cooking or is there smoke in the house? And check the house. She told me she'd been cooking way early, but there was no smoke. And she was really confused as why they were going on and they were freaking out the dogs. Sometimes false alarms occur. And if a false alarm is activated, it could be because one of the following reasons. It could be that the battery is loose. It could be that the sensor in the smoke alarm is dirty. It could be from humidity or steam or an electrical surge. Also, the alarm could be over 10 years old, at which case it's reached its end of its life and it should be replaced. So let's talk about silencing a false alarm. First of all, always check to make sure the alarm was not triggered by an actual smoke or CO2, which you can't smell. So you wanna check for a fire condition or something like that. Like many alarms, our smoke detectors have a hush feature, which allow you to desensitize a smoke alarm that circuit for up to eight minutes. Now, if you push the test hush button again, it can end that hush period. So um, this feature, it, it should really only be used when you have a known alarm condition, such as a um, smoke from cooking, something like that, steam from a shower that activated the alarm. The hush feature will work um, if the smoke is not too dense. Now, after eight minutes, the smoke alarm will automatically reset and sound again if there are still particulates in the air from that combustion, whatever it was, if it's still present. The hush feature can be used repeatedly over and over again until you clear the air out of that area. All right, back to my story. So I asked my daughter to check the house first, obviously, and then I explained to her that she needs to find the smoke alarm that was initiating, that was the initiating unit, so she could silence it. To find the initiating unit, I had to tell her to look for one that was flashing red at least once every second while in the alarm mode and then press the hush button. Now, the very next morning, about 5 a.m. to be exact, the smoke alarms went off again. So um, I realized that it was not my daughter's cooking this time, but it's the smoke detectors that may have, you know, too, been too old or too dirty. Now, false alarms most commonly caused by something interfering with the sensor, the smoke alarm sensor. Dust buildup, cobwebs, bugs in there um, can trick the sensor into a false alarm and cause a malfunction. Now, I replace my smoke alarms every 10 years, which is what manufacturers recommend. My units were six years old, so I'm pretty sure they probably need a cleaning. And if cleaning doesn't work, then replacement. And I ended up replacing one of these smokes. So cleaning the smoke detector, let's talk about how to do that. To clean it, you just disconnect it, uh, remove the battery, and basically I hold the unit on its edge and I thoroughly just vacuum out all the gaps, and especially on the front cover where you can actually see the sensor. So there's, there's gaps on the bottom plate and there's, there's two little slots on the front. I do that all the way around the perimeter with a crevice attachment on my vacuum cleaner. I also use a combination of vacuuming and compressed air to blow through the same gap. I use my compressed air in my workshop. You could buy a can of compressed air. Uh, if you're not good about battery replacement, guys, this is the great time to replace the battery. You should be doing it once a year anyway. Nobody does, but you know. Once you're done, reinstall the smoke alarm and see if it worked. Test it. And look, if you have another false alarm on that unit, just replace it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a short one. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I hope you feel that we deserve a subscribe on this channel. We have lots of great videos and content. I hope also that you consider supporting this channel, becoming a channel member. I'm Rob Robillard, and we'll see you next time here at Concord Carpenter. Stay safe and stay healthy.